Hi everyone, this is Radul live. Thanks for joining us. Remember guys, every week there are two major jackpots that you can participate in on Batika.com. There's the midweek jackpot on Wednesdays where you can stake 15 bob and win up to 15 million shillings. You're just predicting the games of 15 matches. Or you can take part in the grand Batika jackpot which is played on Sundays. There, there's 17 matches. And if you get all 17 predictions correct, you could win 100 million shillings if you stake 99 bob. If you stake 50 bob, you can win 50 million shillings. You can play all of them, by the way, and then retire and go and live in Hawaii. That's my plan. Just go to betika.com, but make sure you bet responsibly. Now, today I have uh, an amazing driver who I think he's not even scratched the surface yet. We can expect huge things, more huge things from this guy. His name is McCray Kimathi. Allow me to introduce him. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've done amazing things already, but I feel the best is yet to come. And we are sitting on the edge of our seats waiting for that. But let's get into how, first of all, how did you get into rallying? I mean, people drive, Kenyans drive every day badly. How did you <laughs> decide, I want to fast drive, but I want to do it responsibly and as a sport? Um, I think it goes way back. I came from um, a rallying background family. Um, my father used to be a rally driver back in his time. So ever since uh, like I was growing up, um, I've always been around rally cars, going to watch him, um, wearing his t-shirts, running around with his helmet, giving him his boots and things like that. So at a very young tender age, um, I fell in love with the sport and from then on it's been my passion. I guess it's easier already when your family is involved in the sport because what I get from a lot of people I interview here, they're like, no, my dad wanted me to be a teacher, <laughs> lawyer, a journalist, you know, a, a day job. A day job. But you came in with that understanding. I guess that's an advantage. Of course, yes. I had uh, like a whole like pool of uh, resources and knowledge. Of course, mm -hmm. having my father being part of uh, the rallying scene and the rallying fraternity. But I guess he never really pushed me to, to, to become a rally driver. It's not that in the morning it's like, you have to do this, you have to do this. No, it was just out of love of the sport and out of passion, and I'm enjoying it. And <laughs> your, 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 your mom, because for me, rallying is not a... There's some sports which I'm not sure if I'd let my child do, like rallying and rugby. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Of, of course, my mom, of, um, she was a bit, like, let's say, skeptical because, okay, my dad used to crash a lot. Um, so I'm sure when I started even my career, I also had lots and lots of accidents. So there's that odd comment of like, um, I think we should try and find something else to do, you know, something, that odd, safer. something safer, you know, something, maybe you don't know where your limit is, or maybe you should, you know, love your, do you love yourself? You know, th that type of conversation yeah, mm -hmm. it comes in once or twice, but of course it's just because of the heat of the moment. Okay. You don't want to see your son like have an accident or your child. Like they've rolled the car and then, okay, there's all these ambulances coming and then you're just like, is he okay? Is he okay? So, yeah, so, yeah, it so was that, that, that's quite... That's a bit, a bit risky. Yeah. When you first got your driver's license as a normal driver, not in a rally car, yeah. did you automatically get the urge to drive fast? Quite, uh, quite ironically, no. I, I actually hate driving on a day-to-day. -day. I'd rather use like a taxi. But really? I would avoid driving all the time because I just feel like it's such a big hassle. Um, stuck in traffic, dealing with matatus, uh, overlapping. Hey, open me, fields. Me, I just open. want, you know, someone to just deal with all that chaos and all that manenos. As I just chill, you know, being driven around, feeling nice. Um, but I guess it's just also my way of just like relaxing because there's so much pressure um tension to perform in that type of field so if i have an opportunity just to enjoy the scenery why not why not how do you prepare to be a rally driver because we all feel ah see i can drive but we can't all be rally drivers what type of training and preparation do you get of course as you can see you have to be quite um fit first of all you have to of course your physical side uh, we check a lot of weight we normally look like this type of stature people call me skinny i'm like okay fine i'm i know i know exactly what i'm doing you know like a footballer's actually, actually body I, I commented <laughs> when you walked yeah. in that i thought you were bigger i, I, I thought you're bigger is like nope <laughs> this is the the physique that is required of course there's a lot of um 
Wh why side. is it this physique? Is it a, a weight issue? Yeah, it's a weight is issue um, just because, okay, as we all know, if the car is lighter, it goes faster, just basic principles. So I guess that's why we are very fussy about our weight. And even um, at the top, top level, they're very, very fussy about about weight. A car's weight, driver's weight, your co-driver's weight, yeah. It's like a jockey on a horse. Yeah, it's so, like so, you, so yeah, yeah, they're so tiny and if, if, if like, for instance, when I went to like Sweden, I didn't know that the champion actually changed his co-driver to a lady because the lady was 14 kilograms less lighter, lighter oh. than, than, the, than the previous guy. So they are that fussy about weight. How else do you train? Um, of course, there's a lot of like, f apart from the physical side, um, there's a lot of mental work we do. Um, of course, reactionary um, work has to be there. There's a lot of, anal ana what do you call it, analytics, analyzing, okay. Uh, lots of preparation before an event um, in terms of details, the weather forecast, the terrain. Um, of course, okay, in Sweden now it was different because now it was a snowy country, so we needed to understand, okay, different types of surfaces. Not like in Kenya where we have only one weather. That. <laughs> that <laughs> one weather from January to well, December, yeah. So it's it's quite a bit of work and um, quite a lot of fine, fine details that you need. And in terms of the car itself, because uh, I looked at the dashboard of a rally car, it doesn't look like my dashboard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, is, there are no radios, first of all, um, no AC. So, and then there are lots and lots of buttons with lots of functions, so yeah. And what, 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 what do those do? I don't, why, uh, and I gather you don't have an AC because it takes the power. It takes the power away from it. So you need, you need as much power in the car. So mm -hmm. of course it gets really, really hot in the car. But we have like vents, but still you feel, with all the clothing, you still feel the heat. Mm -hmm. um, and it, of course then the concentration now, you start getting, you know, once you start sweating, the concentration now becomes too deep. So yeah. And that's when many mistakes really happen at that time. When you start now feeling tired and then you're not, listening or concentrating, yeah. When you started driving, which which car did you start driving and which car did you wish you started driving? When I started driving, I started with uh, an old two-wheel drive car. It's, I still have it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Hyundai Coupe. Uh, it was a good car. It was, n it was not as powerful as what I'm driving right now, but it was, it was a good um, stepping stone. Um, it allowed me to make lots and lots of mistakes. It was a very expensive period for my <laughs> my parents, <laughs> you know, when you have to foot the bill before you get like sponsors and things like that. So it was, it was one of those comments where you're like, maybe we should try something else now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Uh, you were you were not a Subaru boy. I'm told everyone wants I to be a Subaru boy. I uh, then I moved <laughs> to a Subaru. Then and that's now when we started having uh, lots and lots of crashes because the car, of course, was much faster um yeah i recently had one of my biggest crashes here in kenya in february so yeah that was not really what uh, were you driving and i what was happened? driving a, i was driving a subaru i think i was probably lying there just before i went to sweden i think it was a week before um yeah so it was it was a big big shunt yeah so you had an accident a week before you're going for a competition what yeah. was going through your mind because at that point you ne you're needed in your best form yeah, the best remedy is to get back in the car as soon as possible and forget about it. The, because the longer you stay, the longer it now starts to play in your mind. You're like, okay, fine. Am I still good? Was it, yeah, yeah, am I still good? Is it something that, am I willing to take the same level of risk? Because, okay, to win, you have to take some risks, of course, if you want to, to be the best. So am I, am I prepared to take those risks, those chances to beat you where you would hesitate? I, I, I have to not hesitate to be try and beat you, yes. What? So you have to have nerves of steel? Yeah, nerves of steel. How, like, how much risk are you willing to take to win? <laughs> how much risk are you willing to take? Are you, if, are you, are you willing to, if you, if you want to win, are you willing to take the risk, the same risk that I'm willing to take? Because so those are the risks the yeah, champions yes, take. take. Yeah. Instead of asking how many, instead of asking have you ever, how many bones have you broken? Thank God, no. But I had I had a big shunt when uh, I had none. I think my shunt. Yeah, no, none, none. Thank God. Okay, yeah. I hope it stays that way. Yeah, I hope it stays that way for sure. But uh, yeah, but I of course when you have big accidents like that, you feel you feel it, especially like my shoulder. So yeah. So you're fortunate, but when you see rally drivers having accidents and near misses, it it doesn't create any fear in you. 
it's exciting because you now you, you understand someone is really committed, you know. So, yeah, it's really, really exciting for me. Okay, there are dangers, there are levels to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are sometimes, okay, you can get away with something and there are times, okay, yeah, you've pushed your luck a little bit too much, yeah. Tell me some of the competitions you participated in, because I know you're also in the World Rally uh, Junior Championships. Yes. Tell me, take me through some of the competitions and, and, and how you performed. Okay, so last last season, 2021, was one of my best seasons. I won Was that your first season? No, no, not my first season. I think it was my third, fourth full-time season. Mm -hmm. um, I won the African Rally Championship junior title. So, which, okay, we went to Rwanda, we went to TZ, we went, we did the full circuit. So, which I'm still trying to defend my title this year. Hopefully, I can s defend it. Wh where is it this year? We start, we start, okay, we, I missed Ivory Coast because I was in Sweden. Um, and it's quite far away to go to Ivory Coast. But uh, we start in Kenya um, in two weeks' time, next week, to be precise. Yeah, it will be in Ivasha. Um, fantastic event. We did it last year. We finished quite well. We're hoping this year we can do the same. And then we go to Croatia in two weeks' time. That's, uh, so they're back-to-back -back competitions. Yeah, uh, in fact, it's, it's, it's horrible because after Croatia, I don't have time. I don't know if I can because I'm expected to be in, U in Uganda. So mm -hmm. I might not even return to Kenya. I might just probably fly straight there to Uganda. So, yeah. It's so it's yeah. How taxing is this on, on your physical, on your body um, and your mind? It's, it's quite taxing. It's okay, f for me now, I, I don't have any like family commitments, but I'm sure we live a lot in airports. You spend a lot of time with your, <laughs> with your co-driver. Mm -hmm. You spend um, quite a bit of time away from your family. So it's sometimes it's you start to feel, you know, that is it like a lonely feeling or something? Like you miss home, you miss your family, you miss your friends. You're like, you like antisocial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because all the time you're like, okay, I'm expected here, I'm expected here. I have only one day at home or one week at home, then I'm flying again, you know. So it's it's quite intense. So so what what what's your target? I mean, because now you're young, no responsibilities. <laughs> now is when you have to take advantage, yeah, advantage of, of it, every yes. competition. Every competition. Mm. And um, okay, for, for me, the target is to be in the World Rally Championship full time and try to become the first like African black man to become World Rally Champion. Um, it's a long journey ahead, but I know it's, it's quite possible. We've started quite well, so let's see how it what, goes. What do you have to do to get there? A lot, lot, a lot of work, of course. Um, for instance, right now, like we're mainly quite disadvantaged uh, because we have, uh, like you said, we have only one terrain here that um, we need to learn how to drive on snow conditions. We need to learn how to drive on tarmac. We need to learn how to drive on mud, like e basically every single surface. So um, this is a very good stepping stone for me, like for the Junior World Rally Championship, because it allows me to go to different countries um, have different terrains, um, experience the stages, learn them, then keep on growing and having the same foundation till to get to the top. And uh, tell me about your recent stint in Switzerland. Sweden. 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 I keep saying Switzerland. Sweden. Yeah, it was totally new experience. You know, now when you're used to 25, 26 degrees to go to minus 15, uh, it's not it minus 15. Minus 15. <gasps> yeah, because it's uh, still, it was the end of winter, kind uh, of. It yeah, they're funny. They're, it's like six months of winter. So yeah, like it's a whole, the lakes are frozen. Everything is like, but it was a really good experience. Um, first, we had to learn how to drive in a frozen lake. So they give you uh, like a car and then you start now to drive on a frozen lake and get but to the lake's not going to crack. It, they <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. There's a funny story because they were like, oh, it started to crack. But then they were like, oh, this hasn't happened in like the last three, four years. And I'm like, oh, that's comforting. Yeah, that's comforting. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so what happens is like, oh, don't worry, it, it wouldn't happen, okay, it wouldn't happen. I'm like, hey, no way, no, no way. But they didn't tell me before, so they had to tell me after. Otherwise, I would have just been like, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, so you didn't even know? No, I didn't even know, so they had to tell me after. So otherwise, I would have been like, no, <laughs> we're not doing this. So, so how did you perform? How, what, what were the other challenges? Um, we had to, of course, big challenges is that it gets dark at 4.30 p.m., like pitch dark mm -hmm. and then we're like in the forest and then it starts to snow so 
and it's at night, so that was that was pretty <laughs> interesting. <laughs> and then you find guys like um, crashed out on the side of a snowbank, this um, gone into like a ditch, and then you s just find fans there barbecuing and with um, what do you call it? Those vuvuz is it vuvuzelas? Vuvuzelas. Yeah, <laughs> at pitch at night, waiting for you, cheering. And I think I had such a big fan base in Sweden than I've. Oh, then in then in Kenya, yeah. Okay, shame like on us. Yeah, shame on you. Yeah, <laughs> not not actually shame on us, but like, yeah, because I remember I got stuck in a snowbank, um, and I had this Spanish people, like a whole army. We we can't even communicate. They don't even know English, so it's just mm -hmm. like we are just hand push. signals. Just push. They were like, get out of the car. I got out of the car. They actually took a tow rope and carried the car out of the snowbank. Oh, it was so, it was incredible. They 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 were like you have to you've come so like you've, you've come from far you have to like finish you know so it was quite incredible. So it is there is teamwork to it. Even though it's it just was you it was teamwork. Co, co driver. Yeah, because I was even laughing in Kenya. You know, in Kenya, somebody you, you get stuck there like I miss you and I'm not getting my red shoes dirty. I'm not getting my red shoes dirty, especially in man. I miss you, school me. <laughs> Uh, uh, we'll push you, you for something. Is, yeah, you know, and therefore, there there was no like. But you performed one. pretty well. Yeah, it was um, for a first time. They were quite impressed, okay, with the job that we did. Um, of course, there is still room for improvement. I mean, it's a learning. For us, it's, it's a learning. Yeah. It's where you can take it. Yeah. Um, you don't have to win every competition, but yeah. as long as we see this growth and progress. Yeah, as long as, of course, yes, and. Having that level of competition was a real eye opener, yeah. Because people they are really crazy. <laughs> they can't do it. Yeah, quite well you fast. took their craziness to <laughs> yeah. your craziness <laughs> met. <laughs> our craziness met, yeah. And it was a fascinating experience, lots of learning, lots, lots of learning. And hopefully I can go back there next year. And and, and do even better. And there was better. an unfortunate incident though that made the the papers and th th that was the issue of racism. I mean what exactly happened? Um Quite frankly, um, we had, um, honestly, I didn't honestly see the comments. I think the FIA really shielded me from, from those rightfully type of comments. So. Yeah, rightfully so. And for them to really come out, the promoter and the team that, that I was driving for, M Sport Poland, they did a fantastic job. And okay, quite frankly, I don't think there's any African who has really attempted the Swedish rally. So it it felt it felt weird to be on a start list like you're just seeing wazungas and then they're like mm, this is a black guy w what is he doing this no you know it like doesn't even know what he's doing, doing. <laughs> you know so it was it was quite funny but i have a goal and i know if i want to become champion one day i have to be able to drive on any, any you, have, you have to be able to yeah. and, and overcome all these things yeah. i mean it's it's unfortunate that a few people a yeah. few ignorant people, people spoil yeah, the yeah. image of yeah. a whole of a whole sport yeah. and of a whole, whole sport yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I want us to take a short break. When I come back, I want to know what, uh, how much all this costs, because I know it's not <laughs> cheap, and whether there's any uh, government recognition. Yeah, <laughs> that's the uh, yeah. elephant in the room. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you after the break. The official sponsors of happiness. Gambling can be addictive. Play responsibly. Not for persons under 18 years of age. This advert is authorized and regulated by the Betting Control and Licensing Board. License number BK281. Betika, Jukwala Mabingwa.
Welcome back. This is Radul Live, and I'm here with McCray Kimathi. Yes, he who is a junior rally driver, um, aspiring to be a senior <laughs> on the world <laughs> rally. It's a world rally circuit. What is it called? The championship. World rally, the world rally championships. Rally championships. Yes. And that's where the big boys perform. Yeah, you that's know. where the big, big boys. You could chill with the big yeah, boys. boys. <laughs> <laughs> the Messi, the Ronaldo. Yes, that's yeah. There. Now, this is a sport where, I mean, in the first half, we we're talking about how much travel you have to do and the cars and everything. It's not cheap. Yes. And But you have been fortunate enough because uh, what your, your family fund everything you do? Or who funds everything you do? Um, when I started, yes, it was more of a family funding. But then quickly when I started to rise, I started to attract more sponsors. As you can see, we have thank you to Safaricom and Kenya Airways for being my Safaricom? partner. <laughs> my partner and Kenya Airways. Uh, we've walked this journey since 2021 and we're still working this journey with them. And hopefully we are going to do incredible things this year. Them, yeah. what, what, what are some of these incredible things? Because we are, we are hosting the World Rally Championship again. Mm, again, yes. Um, will you participate in that? Definitely, yes. That is my my highlight now for 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 this year to compete at home again. Of course, there are many many other events that I would like to do, but that one is the big one to watch out for. That's a big one, and we're at home. And we're at home, and it's home advantage at least now. And if you need to be pushed, you push. <laughs> yeah, you I just think go to Vasha yeah, for fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the events that I, I prob probably feel, feel the most pressure because now it will be like, okay, now you have to do well, it's home, you know. It's diverse. you know these stages, you know the circuit, so it's, yeah. So, but so no pressure, no pressure. No, no, no pressure. Um, government, and I ask this for every sports person who comes through here. Yes, you have a federation of which um, you're fortunate enough that uh, your dad is an official. Yes. Um, and runs that federation very well. Mm. In terms of government, because when you go out, you are carrying the Kenyan flag. Mm, yes. um, maybe not yet as a, in, in, in your junior capacity, but you are. You're representing Kenya. That's why we talk about you when you're out there. Yes. But have, do you get any support from government at all? I think more of like a macro level. Because, okay, as we know that the government is the main sponsor to, uh, for the WRC. And it's through the government that we have an opportunity to have um, the rallying back after, it, yeah. after 19 years. So, but individual, like for drivers, it's quite mm. difficult unless you have like a sponsor who can help you like with the running cost, the traveling cost, the uh, repairs for the car and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, small, small I guess in, in the case of rallying and in the case of all sports, it's the infrastructure that really matters. matters yes, it's the infrastructure and that matters. We are yes. fortunate that our country's infrastructure. Just, yeah, you know. it, yeah it, it took quite some time to build this infrastructure. Hopefully now we can sustain it. We have, I think, the best service park in the world. Um, and our rallying is totally unique. It's something that um, you're not going to go um, to Sweden and meet an elephant crossing the road or something <laughs> like that, you know. Yeah. Or an antelope or a deer. But here in Kenya, you, you like, those are some you of can. the challenges you face. So it's quite exciting even for... Um, for even from a whole tourism uh, point of view, you find that right now Nakuru is fully booked for June. There are no hotels in Naivasha, they're fully booked. So, guys, if you really want to come for the <laughs> event, you better either you're sleeping in your car <laughs> or Kenyan something. Last minute, yeah. Yeah. Kenyan last you know that last minute, <laughs> as you'll sleep in Salga or Gilgil or whatever you. Yeah, because, yeah. I still remember the jam last year. It People was got stuck oh, here in Kinungu. <laughs> they couldn't the more South Lake Road. And then you know how we are so like, I don't know, we are like hooligans. We can't just follow. You know, it's there's one. Everyone, <laughs> everyone is overlapping this side, this other side. And then it's just hooting. And you're then like, lanes. you're the one who's wrong. You're the one who's wrong. Where are you going? And then we just stop. Uh, it's just crazy. You just, you just end up stopping. Yeah, so we have crazy. a lot to learn in preparation. <laughs> Guys, the World Rally Championship is coming in June. Prepare now. now. Don't prepare we'll on Friday, Friday for Friday, Saturday. Because Friday, yeah. that's what happened <laughs> last time. Yeah. You know? But at least there's an interest. There's an interest. Because um, 
we don't, as Kenyans, we're very poor at being fans. Eh? Very, because we, even when I went um, outside, um, the, these guys from Sweden, they already have their tickets booked and paid. And they're ready, they can't wait. They were even showing me, like, we can't wait. We are sleeping in this hotel, this, this. And I'm just like, wow. For Ooh. Kenya? Yeah, for Kenya. Hiya. Yeah, everything is paid for. They've paid everything. They're just waiting for that day to come. <laughs> I'm just like, Kenyans, like, what are we doing? We're just waiting for that, that Thursday. Wait, do you have a plan? Let's go. We have a plan. Kwapi. <laughs> Kwapi. <laughs> 20 <laughs> And then we wonder why we have nowhere to stay. They, sleep, ah, there are no hotels. Where are we going to sleep? Guys are going to sleep in the car. You know? we, we also need to take a bit more interest in the rally. Yes. Because it's a great party. It's a great party. But then party. you ask people, yeah. do you know who Macrame Kimathi is? Who's that? Who's that? It yeah. sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. But, but, but we actually it's don't know. what. It's like going for, for, for Safari 7's rugby. Like. And you don't know any player. You're just there for the motion. <laughs> but I guess it's, it's a combination of both. Because yeah. there's nothing wrong with that bringing the party atmosphere. Because then it gives you guys the feeling of we were the center of attention this weekend. Yes. Um, even if they don't yet know mm -hmm. our names. <laughs> but it's something for Kenyans to appreciate that you've brought to this country. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you for that. Um, and, but when do you graduate from a junior to a senior? Um, you graduate after, after winning the, the junior title. Or it's up to you to decide when you want to graduate. But basically, and by junior title, that's World Rally Championship with yeah. Africa. But there's a junior cut of age of 29 years. Mm -hmm. So after 29 years, you cannot be a junior anymore. So you, you have, have now two years. Two, yeah, yeah, no, have two years. Why? <laughs> yeah. So you now become like um, a senior driver now. By that time, you should be having like quite a bit of experience, and you are quite fast. So yeah. Do we have many people your age? Competing because I don't know many in Kenya Not really in other parts of the world, you know them. They don't really do like school school ends at Form what do you call it form four? Mm -hmm. So there's no like university for them or college for them. So for them rallying is their everything so um, I think I'm the oldest in the juniors because I'm competing with people like 21 years 20 years 22 max from other yeah. countries from other Kenya. countries of course, from Kenya, there is no way someone is gonna allow you. My parents are like, "No way, you need to, you need, <laughs> you need to have an education degree first before you start doing this play of yours." That that, that time it was a, a hobby. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah a but hobby. it's unfortunate here because sport is taken like a hobby, which is not bad when you're if you're not going sure, to take, take make it your profession. profession. Yes. But then we can't professionalize a lot of our sport because nobody takes it seriously. seriously. It's a thing I yes. do on the weekend. weekend. Yeah. That's that's the same thing that we take um, here because even when I started, I had to like stop doing rally for a while and go back to school and finish my degree, then come back and do it just in case if I fail, I have like you know I can get a job or something like that. Well, that's a fallback plan. Yeah, like a, yeah, a plan B. But then for them, they don't have a plan B. So, so you have to excel in your plan like, A. Yeah, yeah. They, there's no plan B for them. This is what they want. This is what they want. And they what what, what did you study? What what's your day job? Um, I'm an accountant, can you imagine? Oh, goodness. <laughs> but at least yep, you can get the yep, money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did finance and accounting in Strathmore, yeah, so that's my day job. That's Which is quite job. funny because now, like, it's more repetitive, and then there's all this adrenaline, and then you have extreme to come. Sports. Extreme sport on one side. And then you now you have to come back and just be like, oh, we have to do the same thing over and over again. Oh, well, you were talking about, before, <laughs> before we started this interview, you were talking about golf and the fact that golf is so... So repetitive, because I, I, didn't, I didn't understand. Yeah, like, but then you're an accountant. So it's, <laughs> yeah, so you can understand <laughs> the pain. <laughs> yeah. You so could you understand where I was coming boom. from. Like, yeah. Because running is an extreme sport. sport like... I, like as you were talking before, like Collins in jail, like how can you be an extreme person then you come and like hit a ball and we wait? Yeah, but golf is I've tried golf this year really? and it's not as how bad it? as you it's not as bad, especially if you learn how to swing and you can actually hit the ball. It's not that bad. But it's any sport. <laughs> okay. But then there's somebody sitting saying, Oh me, I can't just sit in a car and, and just drive. drive. Yeah, yeah, I just get bored, you know. Yeah. So what 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 are your long term aspirations? Um, right now, right now, I'm actually working on trying to get myself to be a full factory uh, WRC driver. Um, what that means is that now this becomes like my my job. Your 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 yeah, A my plan. A, my A plan. It, forget now B plan. My A plan. Yeah, that that's what I'm working towards. And you can make a living from this once yes, you get all the sponsors on board. And yes, and and you get paid pretty well. Like 
as you can see, the Lewis Hamiltons and Sebastian Vettels, they get, they get a lot of money. So it's the same. So if you have a good factory backing, you get, you get paid well. Who, are you managed by your dad or your mom? Who manages you? Um, Do you have to get a manager? Yes, I have one, but it's not my, it's not my dad. It's not it's my not dad. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, it's conflict of interest. interest a lot. Yeah. Because um, you need someone who's like, not per se, um, someone who can see the sport from the outside. From a professional from a point of view, without yeah. being biased. Of course, me and him, if it, if it was my dad would be biased about some things, he'd want me to drive for this this car company, which I may not want to drive for it. So but That would be conflicted. Yeah. I would hate so to sit yeah. on that dinner so table. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, you today drive a Ford, accept a Ford, don't accept Toyota. So I'm, I'm going to be like, oh, but I like, maybe Toyota is a better car. Too much yeah. conflict. Yeah, so... So you have somebody who can look at it from a pro because yeah. you look so well put together yeah, in yeah. terms of branding, in terms yeah. of marketing, because the sport yeah. is more than just, just the sport. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a whole. It's the marketing point of view. Even when we went to the Sweden, how we had to have the Kenyan flag there, we carried the flags there just in case for we were to finish if we were to finish. So there's a lot of things that really goes on into into the whole sport, not just an individual or a, a driver, it's, it's mm. much, much What are you better. driving at the moment? Which car? A Ford. Oh. A Ford Fiesta, yeah. That's what I'm driving at the moment, so... What's the... I'm, I'm very <laughs> green in these cars. Um, they just look... <coughs> maybe they all look the same. <laughs> it, 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 it looks like a, a, a Demio, but just slightly bigger than a Demio, yeah. And it's but it's powerful. Ah, it's very, very powerful. It's a very quick car. Um, developed by M Sport Poland. So they actually give me the car free. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's part of like a sponsorship package because yeah, you're also marketing the, the car. Yeah, I'm also I'm also doing marketing for the car and part of their way to say let's say thank you because they developed the car for them in twenty twenty one, they'll send me one for the safari just to to drive it, so yeah. Wow. Do you have a say in the car? Like, you can you say when I was driving, it didn't do this, it did that? Yes. And can we change this, yes. change that? We, we normally, even for driving, we normally have like, um, what do you call it, a uh, flash disk, which mm -hmm. it records everything that has happened in the car. How you brake, how you use your throttle, what is happening in the car, what, what type of temperatures is there. So um, driver input is very, very important. Um, for me, I did most of the development for this car um, mm -hmm. in an African terrain because um, it had never stepped into an African circuit. Ah. So from scratch, um, when I went to Sweden, uh, because I'd, I'd driven the old car and they brought a new car, so it was mainly my input to actually say, okay, the develop. old car, yeah, the new car is improved in these certain areas compared to the old car. So they were like, okay, fine. And it was first time to have people work for you was quite, <laughs> quite different. You, know. you can have your input in the yeah. development. Of a machine. Of a machine. Because here, like in, um, in rallying, let's say in Kenya, it's more of a um, not amateur way where, like, it's the mechanic who's uh, just telling you, okay, uh, <laughs> nime fanya, nime, nime, nime check. Yes, my there. mechanic is yeah. called yeah. Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> don't worry about it. But for there, it's more about your input. It's your say. If, if I want this changed, if I want new tires now, I want them now. If I want this type of setting, I want it now. And they give it to you. You were named McRae. Is there pressure that comes with that name? That is one question that I have to answer. At least I... Oh, <laughs> you have I to be asked. I you knew it. All the time, all, all the time, all the time. Until I'm, I'm used to the answer. It's the same script. Yeah, well, yeah. you can curse your dad for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was... Yeah, there's always pressure to be named McRae. Of course, he's a legend. Yes, in his own right. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs> Um, yeah, but he's mainly he was my biggest inspiration when I started rallying. It's the reason why I fell in love with rallying, the reason why I fell in love with Subarus, you know, yeah. Were you, were you, I don't know if you were alive when, the, when we used to have the Easter Safari Rally. I don't know if you're old enough. I, um, I went for a Thank God I, I actually went for like three or four. You can remember dad, some. Yeah, yeah, I can remember some. You must be a very young boy. Yeah, because my dad used to race at that time. So uh, we used to go and like, you know, escort him with the Kenyan flag. But we were quite young and then we just go and <laughs> hang you around. You didn't really understand. No, we, 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 I, I had a really bad habit of entering people's cars. So that was like, like you <laughs> I would enter your car whether you like it or not, Oops. you know, and then start like playing with the stairs. So that I needed to be like controlled because I would open your car, enter your car and start playing then. You just find a little kid you don't even know is just in your car. So you're just wondering. Whose kid is this? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. What would you, as we wind up, what would you like to tell anyone who wants to get into rally? Someone saying, oh, look at what Craigie Murphy, I want to be like him. Um, okay, it takes a lot of hard work, of course, a lot of dedication um, to be in the sport. Um, if you have the passion, like I say, and you enjoy rallying completely, then why not? You start. We're having a but it's hard work. Yeah, it's I mean hard work. Very, uh, lots of lots of hard work. Lots of sleepless nights. Lots of traveling. So you have to be okay with that. Um, lots of analyzing of data. So you have to be quite quite good. So don't, ju don't just assume I'm gonna go and speed. Get in the mm, car and speed. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot to yeah, it. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of even your own like mental like you know health and everything like that has to be quite okay because you you don't want to be like driving okay 200 kilometers per hour and your head is you're thinking about something else you know it's not mm. it's not <laughs> safe for your life it's not safe for the other yeah. person's life yeah? so yeah those are some of the things that you really need to be do, do you have one co-driver or do you change your navigators are they called navigators yeah, or co-drivers co the same thing <coughs> same thing same thing um okay what i'd advise um any let's say young driver starting um get find someone who you're really like comfortable with and you can start like growing together. Um, for me, I didn't. Ch I have not changed my co-driver for the past two years, and it's fantastic. So Ooh. there's that, like there's that, um, like you know how in football, understanding. Yeah, that you're chemistry. In sync. Yeah, yeah, the chemistry. Sync. Yeah, yeah, that in sync. Like you know, th this player is probably in the wing or something. He knows like that. where I'm yeah. gonna pass the yeah. ball. Yeah. So there's that sync. So even when he's calling the notes, he can really understand. Okay, today McRae is asleep. Today McRae is not reacting to anything. Or I can be like, okay, so today you, can you step up when you're yeah. yeah. So you can be like, okay, now speed up because now we are we're driving a little bit too slow, or I'm just not in the rhythm, you know. He can do, be able do, to. Do you want that. to give him a shout out for his shine? Yeah, yeah, he's shout out to Monkey Kioni. I know he's <laughs> he doesn't like the press, he doesn't like the media, <laughs> so he runs away all the time for interviews, uh, which is quite funny. <laughs> Yeah, but at least he has you to do it. Yeah. He has you to do it. He's like, it's like, okay, this is the driver. He loves the interviews, but him is. <laughs> What what influence has your dad played? I mean, your career? Uh, I mean, he's he's taught me quite a lot of things. Mm. Um, one thing that I really appreciate is that he, we never really have. You know, there are some dads who really are always like the hands on. Okay, do this, drive in this type of way, mm -hmm. or do this thing. I've told you this. This is the way. For him, it was like I already like he's, he told me he he already did his part, and now. It's your time to chart your own history and your own path. So oh, fantastic. We have that level of understanding. But of, of course, once or twice, you get the odd comment. Okay, do this. You get the odd comment. The fact that he's yeah, been there, done yeah, that, and achieved yeah, great yeah, things. things. So he'll be like, yeah, I know, you know, of course. But I would ask him if, if, if yeah, it's I'm a, sure sometimes a tiebreaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it's a tiebreaker, I want to do something, and maybe I'm not quite sure. Then he'll be like, okay, what do you think? Okay. Then we discuss. So it's yeah. a really good Yeah, it's a really good, yeah, good relationship. Um, with lots of respect. Well, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, McCray, for coming <laughs> um, and opening our eyes to what you do. I wish yeah. you all the best. Thank you. Um, your attitude is fantastic. <laughs> and it's an inspiration to any young guys who want to get into the to sport. Yeah. Um, and I wish you all the best um, in everything that you do. Yeah. So uh, thanks for coming. And yes. thank you guys for watching Redul Live. We'll see you again next week. Yeah, thank you. Happy racing. <laughs> <laughs> but stay safe. Stay safe.